Greetings, brothers and sisters. I've entitled this devotion, our first one from Joshua, God prepares Joshua for success. After the death of Moses, the Lord's servant, the Lord spoke to Joshua, son of Nun, Moses' assistant. Moses, my servant, is dead. Now you and all the people prepare to cross over the Jordan to the land I am giving the Israelites. I've given you every place where the sole of your foot treads, just as I promised Moses. Your territory will be from the wilderness and Lebanon to the great river, the Euphrates River, or the land of the Hittites and west to the Mediterranean Sea. No one will be able to stand against you as long as you live. I will be with you just as I was with Moses. I will not leave you or abandon you. Be strong and courageous, for you will distribute the land I swore to their ancestors to give them as an inheritance. Above all, be strong and very courageous to observe carefully the whole instruction my servant Moses commanded you. Do not turn from it to the right or the left, so that you will have success wherever you go. This book of instruction must not depart from your mouth. You are to meditate on it day and night so that you may carefully observe everything written in it, for then you will prosper and succeed in whatever you do. Haven't I commanded you, be strong and courageous? Do not be afraid or discouraged, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Well, brothers and sisters, have you ever read a book, gone to a lecture and thought, that was good, that was really worth it, that was worth the cost of admission, that was worth the cost of that book, that was so helpful, or it could be really helpful. And it might have been a book on a whole range of topics, it might have been a book on losing weight, or it might have been a terrific marriage seminar that really gave you some hope. Might have been about investing and how to prepare for retirement. Might have been a great book on parenting and disciplining your, your children. Or it might have been a book on recipes. There are so many self-help kind of books out there. In fact, you might have some on your shelf at the moment. Certainly the self-help section in any bookstore is, well, probably one of the biggest sections there, there is. And it's interesting, too, how so many people read them. You might be reading it one at uh, work or on the train and you discover someone else is reading exactly the same book. They're, they can be kind of faddish. But to be successful, to be a healthy, successful, rich, wealthy individual, a great parent means you actually have to put some of the things that you read or have heard into action. So the key is actually doing some of the things that you hear. Well, we know from experience that a lot of people don't do these things. There can be a whole stack of books on, on marriage on your shelf and Really, the advice there is just simply ignored. Could be a whole lot of books about uh, eating well, losing weight, but you don't put any of it into action. It's really important to put things into action. We know that from New Year's resolutions, have you made one this year? And if you have, how long did it last? But here God teaches Joshua two important things, things that he must do if he is to be a successful leader of God's people. And the first is this, keep this book of the law, that is the book of Deuteronomy, always on your lips. Meditate on it day and night so that you may be careful to do everything written in it. Then you'll be prosperous and successful. Now this is... Uh, a challenge, but it's a good challenge, isn't it? To read the word of God. Jesus was the word of God. He was the embodiment of it. And he achieved God's purpose for us and brought about our very salvation. The second thing that God teaches Joshua is this one. 
He teaches him about trust and he reminds him to trust. No one will be able to stand against you all the days of your life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with you. I will never leave you nor forsake you. Be strong and courageous because you will lead these people to inherit the land I swore to their ancestors to give them. Be strong and very courageous. Be strong and courageous, verse 9. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Again, when we think about this second lesson that God gives to Joshua, we think about Jesus. And we know that he did the will of God perfectly in his life and he did some courageous things. And in fact, the most courageous thing he did was to go to a cross for our sins. But a Christian has to always remember these two very important things. We are to be people of the word because the word simply encourages us. It gives us hope. It reminds us. It's, it works in a miraculous way. It touches our lives and gives us courage. And that's exactly what Joshua needed entering into the promised land. And it's what we need to enter into our own world. And to know that God is with us. Do not be strong and very courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. And as we know, those words are seen and heard often in the scriptures. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you that we can read your word again, that we can read the book of Joshua. We do pray that you would encourage us, that we would be strong and courageous, that we would be people of the word, that you, Lord, would prepare us to serve you in this year of our Lord, that we would be faithful, that we would be true, that we would be your people. O oh Lord, help us not to be distracted from the task that you have given us, to be readers and doers of the word, and to know that you are with us at this very moment. Lord, if we're on holidays at the moment, we pray for encouragement. We pray, Lord, that you would keep us safe and well. And Lord, in any times of refreshment, in any times of holidays, we do pray that you would work in our hearts so that we would be people of the word, that we would be your people ready to work for you in another year. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.